and J.P. Morgan analysts have cast a skeptical eye over the recent crypto rally, indicating it may be built on sand rather than solid ground. Their latest report conveys a garden stance suggesting that the market's exuberance may be outpacing the underlying fundamentals. As the market's enthusiasm swells, fueled by pivotal developments such as the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's potential green light of the spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund, these financial experts are urging caution, advocating a closer examination of the elements at play uh, within the crypto sphere. JP Morgan analysts disclose that two significant events have captured investor interest and driven prices upward. Uh, these events include anticipating a U.S. approved spot Bitcoin ETF that has ignited hopes of new capital inflows. Uh, at the same time, recent legal tussles involving the SEC have raised expectations for a more permissive uh, regulatory environment. Um, however, the JP Morgan team led by analyst Nikolaus Panagirt Soglu presents a contrarian view deconstructing these drivers and their probable impact on the market. They argue that an ETF approval and would usher in fresh capital, which might be misleading. The analysts propose that rather than attracting new investment, the approval could redirect existing funds from current Bitcoin investment products into the new ETFs. The JP Morgan team noted, uh, first, instead of fresh capital entering the crypto industry to be invested in the newly approved ETFs, we see as a, a more likely scenario existing capital shifting from existing Bitcoin products such as the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, Bitcoin Futures, ETFs, and publicly listed Bitcoin mining companies into the newly approved spot Bitcoin ETFs. And then this shift they assert would not necessarily expand the market's capital base. JP Morgan's team points to the tepid response to similar products in Canada and Europe as evidence, suggesting that a U.S. spot Bitcoin ETF might encounter the same lukewarm reception. In legal victories against the SEC in high-profile cases like Ripple and Grayscale are also interpreted as potential precursors to a regulatory softening. Yet the analysts remain unconvinced citing the lingering after effects of the FTX scandal and the inherent risks of an under-regulated market. Uh, they further disclose that uh, these factors will likely keep the regulatory tightening trend intact uh, with little room uh, for significant easing. Uh, the report delves into the much-discussed Bitcoin halving, which traditionally stokes bullish forecasts. However, J.P. Morgan's analysts believe the market has already factored in the halving supply squeeze implications. They noted, uh, and this argument seems unconvincing, uh, as the Bitcoin halving event uh, and its, its effect uh, are, are predictable and, uh, in our opinion, are well factored into to Bitcoin price. They calculate that based on current data, the production cost of Bitcoin post halving should double, particularly from the current $21,000 to $43,000. Uh, their analysis concludes with a sobering outlook anticipating a potential buy the rumor, sell the fact scenario post ETF approval. Such a dynamic could see prices climb on anticipation and plummet once the event materializes, a pattern familiar to seasoned market observers. And actually fewer than the other saw it. Echoing similar sentiments, financial commentator Peter Schiff has cast doubt on the longevity of Bitcoin's price surges driven by ETF speculations. And Schiff warns that post approval Bitcoin might face a shortage of positive triggers, potentially culminating in a market sell-off as the buy the rumor, sell the news phenomenon unfolds. And how many times hashtag Bitcoin rally on the same ETF rumor and reporters. Once a U.S. Bitcoin EFT is approved or GVTC is able to convert into an ETF, there will be no more good news for Bitcoin to rally on. After years of buying the rumor, everyone will finally be able to sell the news over Peter Schiff October 16, 2023 meanwhile Bitcoin has seen quite a significant move in the past few hours the asset has now marked a new high for 2023 surging above thirty seven thousand dollars up by nearly thirty seven twenty three percent in the past day